What is going on guys? Christopher Robin here with my off-grid adventure. If you're new here, welcome. What's up? <laughs> so we're today we're gonna be talking about three mega things. One, how the sunken greenhouse is doing. Two, I want to take you on a little bit of a tour of the homestead here in I guess it's July 9th. And I have some really big news. It is, I haven't really, I, I might have made a little bit of a peep on it, but it has to do with a tree house and an Airbnb kind of idea. All right, so let's go have some fun. So the hot days, Cash just likes being inside, just chilling out. He's scared of the water, which isn't so bad because I don't really want him in the pond. You know what I mean, right? He could make a big mess of that in a, like no time. So we just got done watering all the trees here in the greenhouse. I still have these plants that I still haven't put into a raised bed yet. It's terrible, I know. I'm just kind of struggling to find all the time I need to get done all these projects. And yeah, so that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. These fans up here guys, really help cool the greenhouse. Right now we're at, it's not bad. It's actually not bad in here at all. Things are really growing nicely in here. And I'm absolutely loving all the fresh produce, making salads, having some fresh herbs. Like, I love it. I really, what I'm finding is that there's like no insects in here to mess with my greens, you know? <laughs> I picked off, there was like one, sorry, I'm just having a snack. There's only been one like caterpillar in here. That's it. You can see peppers are starting to grow. I think I'd like to have these peppers a bit higher, but I think things are starting to green up quite nicely. I'm not a professional gardener. Just live in an extreme climate that I want a little bit longer of a growing season, right? You feel me? The chaos? Man, okay, I gotta leave. That's the sunken greenhouse. It's pretty good. Like I say, we gotta put some more beds in over here and along the wall. But, kinda getting late in the year for planting vegetables now. Know what I mean? So, we'll just see what happens. I mean, I'm just, just winging it every day, each day. <laughs> so let's go check out the homestead. You wanna come outside, Cash? The house is staying pretty clean. Stay on top of all my chores. Got the laundry out in the line, the bedding, some, Kind of some fun news here as well. The mobile chicken tractor. Look guys. We got the chicks in there. What do you think? I think they're quite happy. Have lots of space. Lots of things for them to scratch at and pick at. And they're safe. It's wonderful. Got have some good shade here. Lots of water, lots of feed. It's great. They're having a great time. 
being little chicken nuggets running around. I've oh, kind of been slacking a bit with the cutting of the grass. And just hear me out for two minutes, okay? So you can see it's kind of getting long around the homestead. It, usually I like to have my grass really nice and manicured, cut down so you can see it. But I'm thinking maybe, what happens if I just kind of let it do its thing? I know that sounds weird and it's a little bit different than what, how we're taught. But from like a lot of the research and stuff that I've been looking at of like trying to live like a healthier lifestyle, there's a lot of different types of weeds, flowers, herbs that naturally grow and you can eat them. And the bees can pollinate all the wildflowers. You know, I don't know if it's something I'm going to stick with not cutting the lawn. But it has me thinking like, you know, the way everything's kind of going with the world and we're not sure what we should be eating, what we shouldn't be eating. And just our general health is that, yeah, I'm kind of going that route. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so the trout pond is flourishing. The trout are doing absolutely amazing. It's crazy how big they're getting and okay I'm gonna show you something you guys are probably gonna think this is weird but that's perfect because you guys know I'm kind of weird right it's just how it is so check this out this is like on a super hot summer day like we're having this is kind of how I like to uh Cool down. Okay, so I put my feet in here, kind of kick it around a bit. It's nice, helps cool me. Then I get a bit of this feed. Check it out. They actually one bit my toe the other day. I couldn't believe it. They literally hit your. <laughs> that one. <laughs> they feel so funny when they hit your feet. But they just, they're just having a good time. We're all just having a good time out here. That one's literally was chewing my foot there. You can feel their little teeth. Now I probably won't be doing this in the fall because I think they should be like maybe 15 inches long. They were already 12 inches, some of them. We're gonna get out and do a little bit of like snorkeling and kind of get into the pond. That's what I'm thinking. Have some fun. So I don't leave the homestead a lot. I just figure you kind of make your own fun around here, right? Check it out, see what it's like. I've never done it yet. But usually I like to hang out in the pond for a little bit, but since I'm shooting a little film for you guys, we're gonna call it quits with the 30 second dunk. So I hope you don't mind. It's just, we have a lot to cover. I've been really been hammering through a lot of different projects. Oh. Okay, so that's good. So check this out. We reorganized. I got the barbecue back in its original place. That's why I poured that pad was for the, con for the concrete pad there was for the barbecue. And then the smoker, and this is where I kind of sit down and relax. 
the hops have been go growing like crazy. So we almost have a full canopy above us now, which is nice for the heat of the day. You can come in here and it kind of blocks everything. So that was a nice project to get done. Kind of get it back up to where I wanted it. Okay, so the big news is not quite yet. So just hold tight. You're gonna be, I think you're gonna be shocked on this idea. I clean the pallet decking up. So if you didn't know, these are just pallets, okay? I put the trim up, just some, some wood that I had, and then I put a, a stone, like a barrier or a trim around it. I don't know what you wanna call that. The upper deck isn't fully done yet, but it's cleaning up quite nicely. Soon we're gonna do fire up the wood-fired hot tub. But check this out, guys. I know what you're thinking. Cash. Not sure if he got stung or what he's doing over there. But this is gonna be the main level to the treehouse Airbnb. So it's 16 feet by 12 feet. So the inner spot where you're gonna be hanging out is only gonna be 12 by 12 with a loft upstairs. And then there'll be a deck out front around the perimeter of the four feet. Outdoor shower and washroom here, I'm thinking. Couple chairs. I'm really excited about it. It's been a dream of mine for probably, gosh, six years now to either have like a treehouse Airbnb or like a cafe or something, you know? And well, we're gonna make it happen. So I hope you guys don't mind that there is gonna be some of the treehouse build on the channel. I didn't wanna like start another channel just for the treehouse build as it's a lot, you know, trying to do all the work and, you know, put it on YouTube, do the editing. Um, so I think for the next little bit, a lot of the content is gonna be less edits, more real life, what's going on around the homestead, how I'm surviving, how the garden's coming, how the horses are. I'm still gonna be putting some videos together where there's like some really good B-roll and some more cinematic shots. But for right now, we're gonna kind of go with how I'm shooting right now, live and little edits. So I've been working in here, clearing all this brush out. I'm thinking over here, a spot for two cars to park, okay? And then we're gonna come in here to this pathway. The guests will, I guess. We're gonna have to clean all this out of here. Smooth this out. I'm not sure if I'll do it all by hand or a friend will come over and help me with a piece of machinery. I'm not sure, I haven't asked anybody yet. But up in here is where the tree house is gonna go. The tree house isn't actually gonna be attached to trees. I have some heavy duty racking that we're gonna make like a center column and then the tree house is actually gonna be lifted up in, onto, the, onto the column. So it's just gonna be in the trees, all right? And then we're gonna put an elevated platform here. So maybe if people wanna kind of like relax, watch, you know, just kind of look at the homestead or they can chill out and watch the horses in the pasture. I don't know. It's a project. Lots, lots to think about, you know what I mean? So guys, leave me some comments, leave me some ideas. Either way, it's getting built. 
and the way I'm looking at it is if I did it only rented it on the weekends that means I only have to have like 53 subscribers or 53 people couples that would want to rent it out that's not very many right so I'm pretty excited about this project I'm a little nervous as well because one I'm kind of doing something new to me <laughs> I guess the whole homesteading thing and the way I'm living is also new to me but starting a business from scratch is going to be I'm a little nervous about it and I'm kind of nervous about the success that's going to come with it but we're going to get it we're going to go out there we're going to put the hard work in make it look amazing and we're gonna just we're gonna dive into that project we're gonna have a lot of fun okay so I packaged and processed a hundred jars of nice honey as well I'm not sure how I'm gonna sell that on the channel I'm gonna be doing another honey giveaway here come up coming up so if you're interested in maybe buying some honey I'm gonna be setting that up here shortly um, and yeah the girls beauty and lady let's go take a look at them all right so we're walking through the horse pasture I'm gonna see how the black flies are are on the girls I've been treating them with some ultra guard it's kind of a premium horse spray repels the bugs take a look here we get some really big black flies out here hey hey girl you're looking pretty good hey yeah mm -hmm. you're looking pretty good too I don't see very many flies on you yeah Okay, nice. No welts, everything looks good. No blood. They're so chill. My little brother dropped off um, my saddle. So we're gonna be riding Lady here shortly. Oh yeah, you see the big horse fly? I'm just checking you out. Makes me happy. They say the Ultra Guard lasts 17 days. So it must be quite strong. You have to wear a rubber glove when you're applying it. Okay, so those were the main topics that I wanted to kind of cover with you, give you a little update on how things were going around the homestead. A little bit of a content change as like YouTube, everybody like concentrates on just one thing, right? And for me, it's really tough because I have so many different things kind of going on around my homestead. And it's a lot to talk about. So I know that I probably lose quite a few subscribers because say I'm just not concentrating on the sunken greenhouse or just on the trout pond or soon to be just on the treehouse Airbnb, right? You know, there's gonna be content on some horses. There's gonna be uh, like a, just a plethora of different projects. So I hope you guys stay tuned. Big things are gonna be happening here around the homestead. The girls, they're having a drink. It's nice to see. And it's nice to see that there's not very many flies on them. Nor mosquitoes, because the mosquitoes are bad this year. Okay, that's it. That's my quick YouTube video for all the people that are kind of following along my adventure. I hope everybody's having a great day. 
take care. Peace out.